Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're doing something different than we normally do. Normally I'm doing hunting and fishing videos, but today we're going to work on this truck. I got it a little bit ago. And so we're going to actually do a DIY roll-in bed liner. This is the Herculiner. And uh, this is actually a two-part kit. It comes with a lot of things in it that you already need. You can either roll it on or spray it on. This is their professional version of the kit. Uh, but pretty much, it should be more durable. It's a little bit more expensive, but it should last longer. This comes though, come on over here, bud. I'll show, we'll show them. So this comes with four parts of the actual bed liner, one part hardener. It has a few four inch rollers a measuring cup came with a sticker came with a uh, instruction manual and then actually comes with a spray gun all you need is a one horsepower uh, compressor to run the gun i don't have a one horsepower compressor and mine's not large enough in the tank so we're going to just roll it other than this kit the only other things you're going to need some tape to mask things off a four inch roller to put the covers on a few cheap little brushes to cut in around certain areas and then a tray if you're going to be rolling it. So I've already started prepping the bed by sanding it. I took an orbital sander as well as a few other things. Spent about an hour and a half trying to do as good of a job prepping the surface as I can. Okay, one of the things I forgot to mention was uh, before you actually get to painting your bed liner on or spraying it on, after you sand it, you need to wipe it down. So acetone is one of the ones that they recommend. We're going to use gloves and just some uh, shop rags. But you're gonna wipe the whole thing down with acetone uh, just so that you can kind of clean the surface and prepare it for the paint. So make sure you do this in between. Otherwise, you're gonna get little particles of paint that you just sand it off. Uh, you're gonna get it in your bed liner. So we're gonna wipe it down. After we wipe it down, then we're gonna begin actually prepping it. If you come on over here, this Pro Kit, um, inside comes with instructions actually on the package. You can see here it's a two-part, so if you're going to apply it via roller or via um, spray-on, has different sets of instructions for you. But pretty much, you're going to take one of these. You're going to take the hardener, and you need six and a half fluid ounces of the hardener. So you're going to take the hardener. We're going to pour it into here. Oh, let's pass the point of no return now. Um, we're gonna take the hardener, pour it in here, shake it for a minute, and then this becomes the mixture that you're gonna to use to actually apply. First thing though, is we're gonna get a brush, go around all the edges and all the little bits that we need to kind of get in and around. After that's done, then we'll use the roller to kind of do the rest of it in mass. So, let's get to mixing. Wait, what? Okay, so, so I'm not sure what happened right here, but, I did it as it told me to do it, where you add the hardener, shake it real hard for a minute or two. But I don't know if the camera's picking it up. None of this out of here, it's just like chalk and it didn't get mixed. So there's, it's like water and then lumps of charcoal and paste. So I don't know if this is an old set. I did get it off of Amazon and maybe it's just been sitting on a shelf for too long and it's gone bad. Or maybe I didn't do the right job in mixing it or I did something wrong in how I shook it or something, but um, we're gonna try and salvage this bottle. Luckily, I think I have enough that if you, even if this bottle's ruined, I have enough to do it correctly with the other three if I can figure out what I did wrong. I was gonna get a mixing paddle and put these all just in a five gallon bucket and mix it up that way, but I thought of doing it the way they said, but it didn't work. So right now I'm just gonna manually use my brush to mix this all in i don't think the chunk is the hardener the chunk seems to be the rubber that kind of goes in the coating so i think i don't think it's ruined i think it's just going to be a little bit extra chunky i'm gonna have to do a little bit more work to break it all up so we live and learn hopefully the next batch will be better than this. as you're doing this as you're brushing in you don't actually want to make strokes you want to do dabs so you want to dab, 
because otherwise if you do strokes you're going to mess up the texture because you'll have brush marks in your texture so when you go to roll it won't look the same so as you do it dab don't brush so the first time we mixed the two parts together we had some trouble with it not fully mixing and what's happened was the actual bed liner before we stuck the hard line the hardener in the bed liner itself there's like a chunk of rubber in the bottom because there's particles inside the paint that give it the texture that it has and do the coating correctly so what i'm gonna do this time before i mix the hardener in i'm actually gonna take this lid off and i'm gonna stir it as best as i can using this tent peg and then now you can see we've done a little bit of the cutting in with the brush I got a few of these liners so that now start with a fresh liner and I'm going to start with a fresh brush to do uh, all of the less leftover cutting in stuff like around here around the tailgate and then that top rail I'm going to tape off so that I can just roll the rest. We're going to try and get this done tonight. We're losing light quick so. said with cutting in we have a little bit more cutting in left to do but right now i'm going to take this tent peg we're going to use this tent peg to help break up some of the stuff that's already settled within this paint and uh there we go and then we'll add the hardener on top of that so this should help it be oh my goodness yeah it's like mud in the bottom so this will help it mix better when we put the hardener in and have it not be as chunky for this round because the last one was really bad. So. That's it. Mixing paddle, but I don't. Okay, I just finished up. It took me a couple of days to do it. Um, a few little things I learned along the way. One, uh, for whatever reason, the kit I got, the um, like the paint had settled and had separated between really liquidy and then just a chunk of kind of that rubber powder material. And they told you to just add the hardener and then shake the can, and it doesn't work. At least it didn't work for me. So I ended up having to buy, let me show you this. Um, I bought a paddle mixer and put everything in a five gallon bucket. It still gave me enough time to work it because it has about a 30 minute shelf life before it gets too hard. So I ended up having to like cut off the tops of all the bottles and then pour each bottle in, put in the recommended amount of hardener and then use the paddle mixer to break up all those chunks because the first couple ones I did, it was, it looks so much different than the last ones I did with the paddle mixer. So get a paddle mixer. Other thing I noticed, uh, there's a few holidays in here just where the um, the paint didn't take and all those holidays are on raw metal. So as I sanded and prepped the surface, uh, the spots that I got down to bare metal, they, uh, they didn't take as well. And so I had to double coat a lot of those areas. I also had just the right amount um, to do this entire bed. So it was a one gallon kit. This is a full size truck but it's actually a short bed so if this wasn't the like shortest bed of uh, available which is like i think it's a five eight if this was a one of the longer beds or even a long bed um i wouldn't have nearly enough so that's the other thing to be wary about i might have been able to spread that paint a little bit more had the first couple jars i mixed been mixed better but um i literally just had enough i mean this is all i have left I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, that's it. Of the one of the one gallon I had, that's all I have left. So this is it. Let me just show you here real quick. I didn't know what to do for these areas, so I just left them the blue. That scuff is from like whoever owned the car before. It came out pretty well. I took all these uh, tie down cleats out 
just to make the prep easier right there and there there's like 10 of them um, or nine of them I took all those cleats out just so I could paint and not have to get anything as for this I think it turned out okay it saved myself about a $500 bill and so it was worth it to me it took me a couple days but I think it turned out okay it's still drying that's by the way that's why it looks like patchy because that's wetter and then this is from the first application so that's why it doesn't look the sheen doesn't look all un uniform yet it will dull as uh as it dries so that's it all right thanks guys so hope you liked the video and we'll see you later